Now, you may be asked to sketch an inequality graphic and show it graphically. Okay, now there are two schools of thought here uh, for how you actually identify the region that you are uh, talking about and the region that you want to find. Um, either you identify the uh, region you don't want by shading in the region you don't want, okay, and then labeling this is the region I want. Or um, the question might say shade uh, the region identified by this inequality, in which case you need to shade the region that you do want. Okay, And that obviously causes a little bit of confusion. So effectively, um, do what the exam question says is my best advice. Okay, So um, historically speaking, the reason why um, so I'll, I'll go through uh, a couple of examples, and I'll, I'll kind of show you uh, what I mean and how, th how this kind of works out. So number one, why is greater than x plus 2? So first thing to identify is that if you've got a greater than or a less than, okay, then your line will be dotted. And if it's greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, then it'll be a solid line, okay? Just to be clear. And this is the case for any, it doesn't have to be linear graphs, it could be quadratics as well. So the first one, y is greater than x plus 2. So the line y equals x plus 2 would look like this. So we want a dotted line. OK. Uh, so that's y equals x plus 2. And this is a line that would be going through 2 and minus 2, like so. And so this is where the school of thought comes in. Now, if you wanted y is greater than x plus 2, you then need to identify which half you're looking at, either the top half or the bottom half. Now, the way to determine which half you're looking for, an easy way, is to choose a point that is not on the line and substitute it in. If your inequality still holds, then that is the region you want. OK, so quite often I use the point 0, 0 if the line or curve is not going through it. So if we try 0, 0, we get 0 is greater than 0 plus 2. So 0 is greater than 2, which is obviously false. OK, so this is actually the region I don't want. I want this region. OK, now, as I said, how do you identify that? So some teachers will do this. OK, and identify the region you don't want, OK, so that then you can say, right, this is the bit I want. And sometimes you would refer to that as the feasible region, and that's like an overhang from linear programming. Or you might label it with um, R for region. OK. Now, if the exam question had said, uh, shade in the region that's satisfied by that inequality, then you kind of really haven't. Okay, you've shaded the bit that you don't want. So the alternative, okay, is that actually this is the region I want. So that is the region I would shade. Okay. Now, the reason why um, the alternative way of just shading the bit you don't want is because if you've got multiple inequalities on the same diagram, it is easier to see the region you want if you shade out the bits you don't want. Okay, the more you kind of shade them out, the easier it's able to see. Okay, so there is that reason behind it. Um, so I'm just making you aware of this slight problem. But the solution to the problem is just follow exactly what the exam question is saying. So from now on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be shading the region I want. OK? I'm just going to do it that way. So number two, the region I want. Y equals 3x take away 5 is a line down here. Now it's a less than, so a dotted line. Okay, like so. 
Uh, now, this point would be minus 5. This point would be 5 thirds. OK, so that's when y is 0. So then I want to try a point that's not on the line. So I'll try 0, 0. So I pop it in, 0 is less than 3 lots of 0, take away 5. So is 0 less than minus 5? Well, no, it's not, OK? So 0, 0 is not in the region that I want. And so the region I want is this region here. OK? Right. Let's take a look at example number three. So we've got 2y plus x is less than or equal to 8. OK, so um, when x is 0, y is going to be 4. And when y is 0, x is going to be 8. So we're going to have 4 and 8. And it's going to be a solid line. So something like this. There's 4. There's 8. OK, so let's try a point that's not on the line. So 0, 0. We get 0 plus 0 is less than or equal to 8. Well, is 0 less than or equal to 8? Well, yes, it is. So that's in the region that I want. So I want this region here. And so I'm going to shade that region. So notice how I'm not kind of like doing a big kind of scribble. OK, I'm just using lengths of line just to kind of like identify the region clearly. OK. Yeah, we, de we definitely don't want a region like, identified like this. Right? Don't want that. Right, number four. 5x take away 2y is greater than equal to 20. Okay, so when uh, y is 0, we get 4. And when x is 0, we get minus 10. So it's something down like that. So something like that. So that's minus 10, and that was 4. Let's try 0, 0. So we get 0. Take 0 is greater than or equal to 20. Well, that's clearly going to be false, isn't it? So that's not in the region I want. So actually, I want that region there. OK, so that's basically how this works. So we draw the graph as per usual. Um, you make sure you're using either a dotted line or a, or a solid line. OK, and then you identify the region that you want. Make sure you read the exam question clearly to see, are they looking for the region? Um, uh, are you meant to shade the region you want? Uh, or is the exam question going to say otherwise? OK, um, I would expect and anticipate that it's going to ask you to shade the region that you want. OK, um, further mathematicians, if you are doing any kind of discrete mathematics or modeling with algorithms and you're doing linear programming in that case, uh, it's the opposite way around. You'll want to be shading the bit you don't want. OK, so um, I, I apologize for the confusion. Uh, but we'll get there eventually, I expect.